run your finger around the outside actually helps it to pop open. Once it goes in, whoa. I'm gonna do this, because this is the best way I can describe it. Oh, no, I don't want to. Today, I want to make a video all about these babies, all about a menstrual cup. Now, when people first hear about menstrual cups, a lot of the time they think, ew, gross, I'm not using that. But I want to talk to you all about why you might want to use it today and talk you through start to finish how you use it and why it's not actually as scary or as gross as you might originally think. I believe that every girl can have a better period when she understands her period better. And I'm actually so passionate about reusable forms of menstrual hygiene because they're better for our hormones, they're better for our health, and they're actually also better for the environment. So major period hack right here, and I'm gonna tell you all about it. Now, before we hop into the video, I would love it so much, so, so much, if you stopped and subscribed to this channel. I'm so excited to make videos for you girls because I just want, and guys, there are some bright guys out there as well, so hi if you're a bright guy. Uh, comment below if you're a bright guy. I want to know how many bright guys we actually have. I'm not sure. I just know that sometimes there are guys that watch this channel um, and look at my Instagram photos, which... Um, Follow me on Instagram as well. I'm so glad to have you as part of the Bright Girl family and I just want to give you all the tips and tricks that you could possibly have to have a better period. Um, and I'm really passionate about the cups. Oh, by the way, these are not used. <laughs> these cups are demonstration cups. They're not my used cups. Just so you know, I'm not showing you my used cups. The other thing is for my Aussie Bright Girls who would love to order the salt cup, I've got a code for $5 off shipping um, because it does get shipped from the US. The beautiful salt girls are from Idaho um, and they are the sweetest. They're so beautiful. They're some of the kindest humans I have ever met on the planet and I'm obsessed with them and I'm obsessed with their mission and what they're doing. They're sending girls to school because when girls have their periods and they don't have a sustainable and a practical way of handling it, well then they stay home from school. And so salt cups really can um, make a difference in girls' lives by helping them to be able to go to school uninterrupted by their period. So I love what the salt girls are doing. The discount code I'm pretty sure is bright girl. I'll leave it right here. Go get yourself a salt cup. Once you go there, you will never go back. That's what everyone says about cups. So I guess let's start from the start. Let's start with what is it? So I've got the salt cup here and it actually comes in two sizes. So there's a regular size, which is this pink one. Now, a regular size is usually recommended for people who might be a little bit older, maybe have already had kids, maybe people who have already become sexually active, but that's a generic rule, doesn't mean that that will apply to all people in those categories that I just mentioned. And then there's the size small. Now, the size small is typically recommended for teens, but again, like you could be someone who has had a kid and likes the small size. So the smaller one holds up to three tampons worth of blood and this one holds up to four. A lot of the times with sizing, it is trial and error. So a lot of websites for cups will give you a recommended size guide. They will tell you this, the regular or the large is better for this person or that person. But I know that a lot of women just use trial and error to figure out which ones they like. I also know some women who might use a regular or a larger size on their most heavy days and a smaller size on their lighter days. So it really is up to you if you wanted to use your best guess to purchase the one that like you think would be best for you and then after you try it out if you love it great if you don't love it you can try another size uh, the other thing about sizing and fit is that different brands will have different sizes and diff slightly different sizes and slightly different shapes which means that a certain brand might have a shape that you like better than the shape of another brand now I love the salt cup um, but there are definitely other the brands that you can try. I really like the salt cup. Whoa, exposure. <laughs> I really like the salt cup because it's got these ridges 
along the bottom here, which helps you when you're trying to remove it, you can feel those ridges and you know to squeeze on those ridges. I like the shape of the salt cup too. Um, everybody has a different preference. So I would love for you girls to tell me if you use a menstrual cup and how you found the right one for you. Did you do a trial and error process and go through a couple of cups before you found the right fit for you? Uh, how did you find the right cup for you? So what the cup does is it is inserted like a tampon and then it collects the blood rather than absorbing the blood. So you get your period, you get your cup out and you would insert it. Now, a lot of people for the first time might find inserting it a little bit uncomfortable or difficult and that is so okay. With the cup as well, you don't have to like go all out in the first go. If you wanted to try inserting it and then maybe it doesn't feel right, you can stop, use something else, a pad or a tampon, a period underwear, and then come back to it later and work your way up a little bit. It doesn't get inserted like that because that can be a little bit intimidating when you see, oh, it's, it's bigger than a tampon and it is bigger than a tampon. So what you do, uh, my favorite fold is the seven fold, which means you fold it close like that and then you kind of make a seven shape. So you can see this kind of creates a seven shape. Now that's my favorite shape, but there are also other shapes you can fold it into as well. And you've just got to figure out which works best for you. So there's the punch fold, which is you punch it in like that. Um, and then you can insert it like that. The other kind of fold is a C fold. So you fold it closed and then you're gonna fold it into a C shape, or maybe that way is a C shape. I don't love that fold, but some women may love that fold. Like I said, I love the seven fold. What I've noticed is that the different folds are different because they just pop open a little bit differently when they're inside you. So when they get inserted, obviously once you let go of the fold, the cup pops open. And I just find that the seven fold pops open the easiest. I found that sometimes using some of the other folds, the cup didn't completely pop open, which meant then I had to pull it back out and reinsert it because you want it to pop open completely. But if you Google folds, uh, you'll find folds as well as the Salt uh, Co website also has instructions on how to insert. And when you buy this, you get instructions about the different kinds of folds as well. I grabbed my packaging. So the cup came in this cute little salt box. You pop the top off and then down here, it's almost like a hidden compartment. You can pop this ring off and then there's an instructional salt guide in here. So if you're someone who first starts to try and use this and maybe insertion is a little bit difficult or intimidating, some people like to do it in the shower. I actually found it more difficult in the shower. However, when you do it in the shower, if you stuff it up, um, it's easier to clean up mess as well as the water kind of makes it a little bit more slippery, which may make it easier to insert it. But I didn't find it easier in the shower, but a lot of women say they do. So it might be something you wanna try if it's not working on the toilet or vice versa, you might try on the toilet if it's not working for you in the shower. So it's inserted really similarly to a tampon. Um, and what a lot of women find is that you wanna try and angle it towards your tailbone. So towards the back of your body. Um, kind of on a backwards angle like that. The natural shape, the physical shape our body takes isn't straight up. So you wouldn't be inserting straight up, you'd be inserting on a backwards angle. Now, this is what I love about the cup. So around the rim here, and I'll show you in a close up, around the rim here, there are holes. And these holes form a suction seal to the walls of your vagina. So if you've inserted it properly, there should be a suction seal where this won't move if you tug on the stem. This is the stem. Um, if you tug on the stem, this shouldn't move if it's correctly sealed or if that air suction has happened, which means that it shouldn't be moving out of place, that you shouldn't get leakage, 
And that suction seal also seals the blood off from any oxygen, which means the blood actually stays that bright, rich red color because it doesn't oxygenate. And one of my favorite things is you don't get any smells because smells can happen when the blood is exposed to oxygen, but because it's not, zero smells, which is amazing. Now, some women find that they aren't able to get that suction seal happening. Uh, what you would do or a strategy to make sure that you do get that suction seal nice and nice and um, suctiony. If you imagine that you're inserting this, once it kind of goes in, it should pop open. Now, sometimes it doesn't pop open very easily or sometimes it'll half pop open and not create that seal. What you can do to help that seal is to start to run your fingers around the rim of it. I know that might be a little bit difficult at first, but trust me, it is quite easy once you get the hang of it. And all of this is a learning process when you first start. Um, it will get easy, I promise. It will become like second nature, like driving a car or riding a bike. Um, so to ru run your finger around the outside actually helps it to pop open. What you can also do is like kind of slightly slightly, slightly, not too much, kind of try and twist it. Um, and you'll be able to tell if it's all popped open. Sometimes it just needs that little bit of a twist to pop open. And if it's really, really just not popping open or not creating that seal, which you would check by giving a little bit of a tug on the stem, you'll be able to tell if, the, if it doesn't move when you tug on it the seal has been created quite well. Um, but yeah, if it's not popping open or the seal's not being created, you might just wanna take it out and try again. Now, once it's in, then you go about your day. Now you can, with the cup, wear it for 12 hours, which is a big advantage that I absolutely love because it means that you don't have to like, when you're at school, worry about changing it or when you're at work worrying about changing it it means you don't have to worry about wearing it too long overnight you can wear it for the whole night and it's fine now with tampon you have tampons sorry you have the risk of toxic shock syndrome that's so hard to say fast or it's so hard to say toxic shock syndrome with tampons you have the risk of toxic shock syndrome if you're wearing them too long which is a little bit scary you've got to be really making sure you're taking staying sorry on top of your hygiene with tampons um with a cup you can wear it up to 12 hours now some people ask is it hygienic uh you're wearing it for a long time and then you're reusing it you can use one cup for 10 years, that's how long they last, which is a huge advantage. But some people say, oh, does that mean it's not hygienic? It's 100% hygienic. It's made from medical grade silicone and you do wash it every time you use it. So what you would do is take it out, go to the sink, wash it off with soap. I use a gentle soap because you don't wanna be using harsh chemicals when you're going to put it back into a very sensitive part of your body. And then after each cycle, what I do is boil it in hot water. Boiling it in hot water sanitizes it, makes sure it kills any germs and it can give you that peace of mind that it is clean. And then you pop it into the bag that it comes with. And then when your period's done, you can store it away in this bag until your next period where you would get it out and use it again. Now, another reason I love wearing my cup is because I can wear whatever underwear I like because I don't have to worry about leaks with this. I can wear cute undies. I can wear light colored undies. I can wear white pants um, and I don't have to worry. And I feel like I walk around feeling like a boss. Like I have my period, but I'm wearing white pants. What? <laughs> Now, I don't get leaks with this, but what I've learned recently is that some people do get leaks with this, and that could be for a few different reasons. Leaks could be, like I said, because that suction seal isn't created um, well enough. Maybe if you've been doing a lot of sports or being really active, maybe that suction seal might have been done nicely, but then it kind of moves a little bit out of place. It shouldn't move too much out of place, but everybody's body's different is what I've learned. And so maybe the certain physical features of some people's body may make the cup more prone to becoming a little bit out of place. I don't know, um, but some people do get a few leaks with this. So for those people who do experience leaks, 
I would really recommend making sure you have that nice good suction seal and even playing around with slightly different angles that you position it in. So maybe position it more back towards the tailbone or a little bit less and play around with what works for you. Now, if you do get leaks, you can always pair the cup with a pad or period underwear uh, just to make sure that any leaks that do happen get absorbed. Comment down below if you have any fears about starting to use the cup and myself or some other cup users, I'm sure would be so happy to comment back and answer any of your questions that you might have about cups. If you have questions about cups that I haven't answered in this video, leave them below and I will do another video that answers frequently asked questions about cups. I also have a frequently asked questions video all about menstrual cups on my IGTV. So if you head over to my Instagram, you can find that frequently asked questions video and there might be some of your questions answered over there. Okay, so let's talk about removing it. This cannot physically get stuck up there. Can you play sport? Can you go swimming? A lot of people wonder how full this gets. They'd like to use a cup, but their parents have concerns. You wanna grab the little rings and squeeze, and squeezing it breaks the seal. YouTube, can't do it, YouTube. 